What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We're taking a quick break uh, from Hidden Fates. Don't worry, we'll be right back with some more. We're going with two of these Mewtwo Power Parker Powership, th these tag team tins. Um, you know, there's been some debate about how good this product is, and I think at least this one is definitely worth it. Uh, I took a look at like TCG Player and. I think at the time, like the regular Mewtwo was still going for like 20 plus dollars. I think um, this alternate art one TCG player was like 17 at the time. And I think Troll and Toad is selling them for like, I don't know, 20, <laughs> 26 or 27, really high price. Actually, that's, a, that's more than this tin cost. <laughs> so that makes no sense at all. But, you know, I think that just kind of goes to show how strong, and especially right now, um, you know, Mewtwo, Mew is kind of like just ruling everything. It's so good, so flexible, and kind of like makes so many things possible. So, uh, you know, I think I kind of wanted to open two more. I, I always forget that the code card gives you two of them, and I did manage to pull one from PAX, so I think I'm good here. So, hopefully, um, you know, if you... Someone that does play the PTCGO game does manage to get the the code card, and uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you build the deck that you're looking to make. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll see each other on there. So here we go, first one, and we'll do the second one uh, in a little bit. Let's go with uh, let's start looking at this card, and that is such a cool promo. I actually am a big fan of how they do these. And of how they package it. These things are almost always pristine condition. So, big fan of that. And let's just, get, before I forget, here's the second one. Good luck on getting it and hopefully, hopefully it completes the deck you're looking to build. Alright, let's go through these evolutions ones first. XY, they are inevitable. Have you ever seen the Reddit unexpected Thanos? <laughs> so funny. Alright, let's go into Evolutions. XY is only three. Blastoise Spirit Link. Wouldn't mind a Blastoise. Make a Blastoise. Make a Pidgey. I feel like I have a bunch of those already. There is our Energy. Staryu. Tangula. A Reverse is a Sand True. And then, okay, we did get a Magneton. Very nice pull right there. Right. Then the Mega Charizard art. So hope everyone's having a good day, and um, yeah, you do want to support the channel, uh, definitely hit that like button, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not already, <coughs> we're still doing plenty of giveaways, um, so make sure you check out the video at the end, and make sure you do enter for to win some Hidden Fates tins, or Hidden Fate tin, uh, Tangela for our next one, and then just a far-fetched, how are you a rare? Let's go to Lost Thunder next. Lost Thunder's still pretty good. Um, but Cephalon's still, still doing his thing. Second place in Worlds. Sorry if you can hear all that. With the Naga Natals and stuff like that. Alright, Morty. Carbink. Shenotic. Alolan Vulpix. Stubble. A Marini. Cyndaquil. Poiple. A Azumarill, followed by a Tangro. So far, no really good hits. Um, one thing I will say is, like, I feel like that first round of these tag team tins, we got like consistently good pulls. So far, not so much on these ones, but hopefully we can turn that around. And uh, oh, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, definitely go check it out. Uh, shout out to Pokemon Lover ninety five. For setting all that up for us. Lost March Nat 2. I feel like I haven't heard any much about Lost March these days. Um, maybe just the tag teams are just too strong. Whitney is our reverse followed by... Oh, very nice. Zero Aura is still a super good card. As long as Picaram is relevant, I think Zero Aura will be. Combos really nicely with um, like Zapdos, the Raichus. So, very awesome support card. And very nice hit. Okay, that I am quite happy with. Alright, on to Unified Minds. We already got a couple Mewtwo Mews, but hey, let's get another one. 
Let's see, what else are we looking for? Obviously, we need all the Tortugas we can pull. Man, I don't remember what's in the five months. I've been doing so much Hidden Fates videos that I forgot what's in this. Ah, Snover, I forgot about you. Ooh, probably, that's a cool Murkrow. Execute, Noibat, and a regular rare Zygarde. Let's see, all right, we got Umbreon, Darkrai, Espeon, Deoxys. Let's see, I think Latios. Yeah, I still think Latios is a good card. Combos really nicely with the Mewtwo. All right, here we go. Stadium Nav, Gabite, Slaycoth, Drifloom, Dupider, Drodagon, Cottony, uh, Normalinum Z. Ooh, very nice. I feel like this card was um, underperformed. I feel like a lot of people were pretty hyped, you know, just being able to run, use that Calamitous Slash to do 240. That's quite nice. It's kind of like Linear Attack first, then Calamitous Slash. But it just didn't pan out. You know, the Mewtwo's too strong. Reshiram still doing okay. Blacephalon with the insane ramp of, of well, maybe as, you know, you know what it is? Welder. Welder is just too strong. Completely made other decks just pow more powerful than Garchomp. Although, like, I feel like there's still some Giratina stuff. I'm like, maybe you can fit a, a Giratina Garchomp in there. All right, let's see. Laurentis, Bound Sweet, Salandit, Scraggy, Tynamo, Cubone. Not the best Cubone art. Ooh, Dragon. I'm not sure if we've ever pulled Dragonite GX yet. And then a Lucario. And our piles are falling over. All right, last pack, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, make sure you enter all the giveaways. And here we go. Water Energy, Giant Hearth, Vigoroth, Audino, a Salandit, Bound Sweet, Salandit. Yeah, multiple Salandits. Scraggy, Tynamo, Lucario. What? What? Oh, okay. Oh, man. See, I've been opening so much Hidden Fates. I'm like, why is the reverse first? Shouldn't it be the rare? But, uh, all right, yeah. Um, actually, for eight packs, uh, this was a good enough opening because we did get Zero Aura, which is a very good hit. But uh, all in that, I would say the rest was very lackluster. But, man, to be honest, this, like, uh, these cards are just really good. <laughs> That's all I can say, especially if you play competitively. Um, whoever got the code cards for those, you know, hopefully that helps you create a very competitive deck. And, uh, yep. That's all we have for today. Don't worry. We're going to be back to Hidden Fates real soon. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.